Hello boys and girls and welcome! Uh, so happy to be here with you over video to go over the exercise that we did the first time. And this guy, this is my dad Steve, and my name is Alana Cadell again, an artist at Studio Channel Islands. Um, I'm not an artist, I'm a kid doctor called a pediatrician, and I don't know much about color. So I decided to take this class with you. Fantastic. So he'll be a perfect guinea pig. So what we're going to do today is we're going to just do a simple color wheel and this helps us to organize our colors and to understand how to mix them together and to learn a little bit about color. We went over these things if you were in the class but no harm in a refresher. So first I'm going to ask you, if you haven't seen the video already, uh, it's sent out as a link in the PDF, please watch that and we'll pause and we'll wait here for you. Right? Yes. Okay, we'll wait for you. So now that you heard about where color comes from and that it comes from light, uh, that it's light waves reflecting back at you, uh, now we can go into the color wheel and how we organize colors. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you about the supplies we're going to need for this. So first make sure that you have something to put underneath all of your papers and things because we don't want to get paints on our dad's nice table or whatever table you have at home. Oh, I've got this old bag. My wife would get really angry if I made a mess here, so I'm going to put that down. Okay, good. And uh, then of course you need a container for water. This is like a to-go container. Or, or you can use an old yogurt container, things like that. You just want to use something that you're not going to drink out of later. So this is only for paint. Then you're going to need the basic colors. What do we call these basic colors? Do you know what the name is? Uh, those I do know. Red, blue, yellow. I think they know that, silly. I meant mm. primary. Oh, they're primary. Are, these are the primary colors. Do you know why they're called primary? Uh, because they're in elementary school. No, but good guess. It's because these are the most basic colors and you can't mix them from other colors. They're really basic. They're primary. So, um, so these are the primary colors. So you colors. mean I can't mix like orange and yellow and get red or I can't mix, um, I can't mix purple and green and somehow get red out of that. No. No, oh, okay. That's right. You okay. have to So you these have to start I, I with have something. to have some red, You have to start with red, some blue, colors and to make okay. all the other colors. And these are the three colors that you need to make all the other colors. So in a little bit we're going to talk about secondary colors like the ones my dad just talked about orange purple and green. Those are secondary colors and we're going to get to mix those out of our primary. So this is all you need. Then you need something that's going to be your color wheel. If you, it's a little silly as I have, but if you don't have a uh, plate at home, you can always take a plate and then take your pencil and just draw a circle on your paper if you don't have a plate. Whoops, or an oval and then you can cut that out. And that will be your color wheel. So make sure you have scratch paper, you have uh, something that, that you can put paint in. So I made a little tray out of aluminum, or I have this plastic palette, or you can use something like a to-go container, something like that. And then of course you're going to need, besides your paint and everything else, what are you gonna need? Oh, brushes. So guess what? You can have your very own brush, Dad. Right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You know, she really must be an artist. Can you see that? Whoa, those are a lot of colors. Lot I can't colors. believe that. And then they dry and then you can just put more colors on them. Okay, so for now, let's get started. Take your color wheel or your plate. It's actually a turkey plate. And now you're going to put your finger in the very middle of the plate and draw a dot. Draw a dot in the very middle. And now from that dot you're going to draw a line all the way to the edge. One way. Good. And then all the way across as if you're drawing one line all the way across. And now it's divided by? Half. 
two. Divide it in half, divided by two. Okay, so now we actually need to do that two more times. So now we're gonna we're gonna move over. We're not gonna cut this one in half. We're gonna cut it into thirds. So we kind of have to estimate. Uh, put your finger where you think the halfway mark is between. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And now move it over a little bit to the side. Move your finger over a little to the side, and now you're gonna start a new line going into the center. And then, just like the first one, you're going to draw a straight line all the way across. So now you should have something like that. Very good. And now, that with that really those fat slices, now you're going to draw a line right in half. And it's okay if some of your triangles, some pieces of your pie are bigger than others, because some of us like colors more than others, certain colors. And now we are ready, we're just about ready to start, but first let's write out the letters, the first letter of the colors that we're going to put down here so we know where to put them. So let's start with R for red, so I'm putting an R at the top, and then I'm going to go to the right and put an O for orange. And then what do you think comes next? I would bet yellow. Yellow, very good. Yellow, and then next we're going to have green, and then blue, and then finally, what do you think? Purple. That's right. But I want you guys to know I cheated. I looked over here. Well, it's okay. So this is the color wheel we have to look at. So, um, and then, so let's circle the primary, the letters for the primary is red, yellow, and blue. Now I know which are the primary ones. Okay, great. Uh, well, of course, we're going to need to squeeze out the paint. So just squeeze out a little quarter size. I already have it on the palette right now. I have the paint here, but just squeeze out a quarter size droplet. Do you guys have some paint at home? Hopefully. Oh, oh yeah. And by the way, if you don't have paint, if you don't have acrylic paint, that's what we're using today, you can use tempera paint. If you don't have that, you can use watercolors. And with watercolors, you just layer it up. And, um, and if you don't have those, you can even use colored pencils. What do you mean layer it up? Take oh, watercolors. Well, okay, so what I mean by layer it up is that you can put a color down and let it dry, and then you can put another color over it. So when we go, when we go to mix the secondary colors, Mm -hmm. You get to put, like, say, if you want to make purple, you would put the red down, let it dry, and then you put the blue down, and you'll end up with purple. Like So, let's get started. Okay, so you can start with your first color. I'm going to start with red. And now, something to keep in mind. Now, you have a scratch paper here. So, on the scratch paper, so the way my dad's doing it is he decided, can I show them? So he decided to kind of, he's kind of outlining it and then filling it in. That's one way to do it. Whoops, mine's dripping. No problem. So this is an opportunity to find out how our brushes work. So on your scratch piece of paper, see what happens when you only use your wrist a little bit to paint and you barely touch the paper. Or what happens when you press down really hard? See how the line gets thicker? Do you want to try that? So, so try, try going lightly and then press down really hard and see how the line gets thick and then it gets thinner. Mm -hmm. And then you can also, with this brush, you can use the top edge to make a really thin line or you could use the side to make a thicker one. Mm -hmm. Or you could go really fast and then a lot of the white of the paper shows. Or you could go really slow and kind of make funny, funny jagged edges. Mm -hmm. So you can practice doing that and then you can practice using your whole arm versus just your wrist and a tiny bit. So, so just practice doing all those things and get to know your brushes because the brushes are all different. They do, they create different shapes and textures. Okay, so now, let's see. You don't have to fill this in perfectly or all the way. I'm gonna do some funky patterns in here for my red. And now we're, we're going to the next primary color. Now remember, we're gonna skip we're going to skip a, a piece of pie, 
Mm -hmm. So put your finger on a white piece of pie and then skip over to the next primary color you're going to do. So I'm going to do B. I'm going to do blue now. I will do yellow. Why? Okay, great. Alrighty. And then let's say, oops, let's say I go way over. I got my blue into the green. That's okay. Because green is made with what colors? Um, I think blue and yellow would probably do Blue that. and yellow make green, so it's okay if I get a little blue under where my green is going to be. I'm going to put yellow on top of it anyway. Okay, I'm ready to go to yellow. And if you haven't already, oh, maybe try a okay. different brush if, you, if you've got one. Oh, I would like to try that square brush. Yeah, that one's fun. Okay, so... We'll wait for Dad get to catch up. Take your time. It's fun to paint. Notice how that's different? Mm -hmm. And how you can get nice straight lines using the top? And how, how it gets darker where you have thicker paint? Mm -hmm. So we get to notice all these things when we're just doing the color wheel. Now notice between picking up colors that I'm washing the brush and then sometimes I'm dabbing it, meaning I'm blotting it, I'm like slightly drying it over here on my paper towel. So that's a really good thing to have handy too as a paper towel. Can I use your paper towel? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. You can pick one of the primaries again. So I'm going to pick yellow and I'm going to go next to yellow and I'm going to mix the colors on either side of the blank, the blank space, the blank piece of pie. So yellow and red. I'm going to mix those two. So first I'm going to put the yellow down and then with the paint still in the brush, I'm going to go to the edge of the red and I'm going to pick some up and I'm going to make orange. And you know, you don't have to mix it all the way. You can do squiggles. Maybe I want mine to be, to have more yellow in it. So I can add some till I get a color that I kind of like. And actually maybe I want more red at the end. So it's like a gradation of orange. And then, okay, so now I'm gonna do the same on the other side of the yellow, I'm going to... Did I mess up? Mine are not in the same order as yours. Is that sort of a mess up? See, you, mm -hmm. my yellow is on the opposite side, so... No, nope, but it works just fine. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sense. sure. Yeah, thank you for asking. I don't like doing things wrong. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because generally in painting, there are no mistakes because we're just learning. And... Uh, so much of it is about our own choices of what what we want to see. That was one of my rules in classes, actually. Mistakes are our friends. Okay, so now we're ready to mix the purple. And purple, as we can see, has the colors red and blue. So I'm going to take a little blue and put it on here, and I'm going to take a little red and put it on here. And now, by the way, when I take the paint, I'm not taking it from the very center of the paint. If I already have like yellow on my brush and I dip into the blue, I just dip on the edge so I don't ruin the whole batch of blue with that yellow. Now you tell me. Oops. I think I did that. That's okay. It's all learning. So we're almost to the best part, which is when you're ready. Dessert? Well, it is a pie. I mean, we don't eat our color meals, silly. The best part is that now we have leftover paint and we have scratch paper. Mm -hmm. So now, of course, we need to use up the paint. Okay. It's time to play.
watercolor, you can actually get the paper wet first. Sometimes you can do this with acrylic too a little bit. And then you can add the paint and you see little blooms. Can you see that from there? Little pretty blooms of color. So that's by getting the, the paper wet first. But you really have to make sure that the, your paper bag or plastic or something is underneath. And you can just, again, layer this up like we were talking about earlier. You can layer up acrylic, definitely. Um, it's just good to wait for it to dry unless you want it to get muddy, but it's good to experiment and find out what it does. If you're painting with someone else, you can do a collaborative art piece. Collaborative? What does collaborative mean? That is working such a together. Big... Oh, okay. Collaborative. That's right. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of letters in that. <laughs> 13 letters. That was a lot. That's a word. Collaborative. side turkey, the other side color wheel. I almost forgot to mention something important, vocabulary word, three letter word for color. Three letter word for color. You are kidding me. I would not <laughs> kid you. You, I think you have something here. Hugh, few. Hue. It's hue. That's what we're talking about. H-U-E. Hue is another word for color. These are different hues. These are different hues. Yellow is a different mm -hmm. hue. It's also mm -hmm. a different wavelength. Mm -hmm. Green is a different hue. And next time we may go over tertiary colors. We did primary and secondary. And next time We'll talk about tertiary, which means the ones in between these. So, wow! You take the name from each of the two. So, yellow, orange. Uh huh. Red, violet. Blue, green. Are there? Can you go another layer? Can you go quaternary? Oh, Dad and his big words. While my dad paints a little bit, I'm going to tell you a little bit about cleanup. Uh, it's important to let your painting dry in a safe place where people aren't going to step on it or use it as a napkin or other things like that, right? So when we finish this, we'll set it aside somewhere safe and then, and that goes for the color wheel too. And then of course we need to wash the brushes out really well. So after we wash it out in this water, we're going to take the brushes into the sink and really wash it out until the water's clear. All right. So enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us.